currently have, you get in these situations where you close the distance very quickly, always, you know? So you're in these arenas, and in this, you know, you, you, you saw there, there's enemies behind you, there's enemies in front of you, um, so, and you're, you're constantly moving. So we needed something that, uh, in this push-forward space, um, allowed you to really quickly and efficiently uh, and in a very Doom style uh, finish these close quarters combat engagements. So uh, the animation team, it's a lot of animation that goes into it. So I'm glad that they're the ones that came up with it. Otherwise, that we'd be dumping a lot of, <laughs> a lot of work on them that, that somebody else that, uh, came up with. But uh, one little quick note on that Mancubus death. You'll notice that that, that moment of sinking and jamming the heart down his throat, um, that, is a, that is a very quick sink animation, but we kind of pulled away for dramatic effect and watched it so that you could see it. But That rhythm, you're there for too long. Again, you're rewarded for it, so you're inspired to do it. So it's not just purely for the visual sake of it. And also, uh, it, it inspires you to move forward, because you're like, well, if I, I, I want to go do this thing. I mean, I'm obsessed with it. I do it constantly. Uh, People have labeled me a glory kill fiend at the office. It's like this hit of adrenaline every time, yeah. every time you do it. You, and you really can't, I mean, we can describe it, but you don't feel that until you play it. But we say it like you, it's, it's fun because you kind of become your own fight choreographer right. in, this, in, these, in these arena spaces. And they're contextual, so depending on kind of where you're looking on the enemy, again, to keep yeah. the fluidity of it, when you're looking down, it, it chooses an animation that's low on the guy, so yeah. it all feels very fluid. So, you know, if you're, if you're kind of in a fight,